this scripture says before, not after, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came here, God already knew you. you. Maybe you were born because of rape, out of rape. You were born from, you know, uh, unplanned pregnancy and all this other bad stuff. God, let me, t okay, let's go back. When, so when a manufacturer is producing something, right? When he's producing something, he makes that thing. And then what he does is he tests that thing. He never releases it first. He tests that thing to make sure it is it's going to function the way he's planned to make it. If it works, then he, what he will do, he will take his logo, which is his image, and stamp it on that product and then releases it. Because when he releases it, that anything that happens is representing who that manufacturer is. It's representing who he is. I mean, if everything we say is new in our hands, it's not new. The phone you're using to look at me, the laptop you're using to look at me was not new. A manufacturer made it and then tested it, made sure it functions the way it's supposed to function. And if it did not work, what do they do? They crash it and then they remake it again until it shows exactly how they want it to be. And if it works, then they take that logo app Apple, Samsung, whatever, and they stamp it and it goes out. They put their name on it. So the same thing happened to you. You are not a mistake, my dear. Before God made you, he knew you. Uh, before your mother gave birth to you, he knew you. He formed you. He did everything. He makes sure that when he releases you to the world, that you come out perfect. You come out representing. The Bible says that we are the glory of the Lord. We are a representation of him. That means he made you in a way that it could glorify him. He released you into the world as a finished product so you can glorify him. He did not make a mistake with you. Your eyes, yes, they, like, you're like, they're too big. He made that for a reason. Your nose is too small. It's too pointy. He made it for a reason. He formed of the, let me give you the definition. What does it mean to know someone? What does it mean to know? There are various definitions. The, uh, the dictionary says to know means to understand or to be aware of. To understand or to be aware of. So he knows everything. He understands you. He knows he's aware of everything. He's aware of that pimple. He's aware of that stretch mark. He's aware that this and this is going to happen. He's aware. Nothing catches him by surprise. He knew it and he released you as a finished product. Your purpose is already inside of you. It took a while for me to get the concept. It's already inside of you. Inside of an orange tree, of, of an orange seed, I mean, there's already the tree and there's also the fruit and there's also the leaves. An orange seed doesn't go out looking for a tree, looking for its whatever, its, its fruit. It doesn't go out. It's already inside. A lot of us, we like to pray. I don't know my purpose. So we go out looking, 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 but it's already inside you. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I recognize and I was aware of who you are. Another diction, another definition says to feel certain about. To know means to feel certain about. He knows you like the back of your hand, the back in front of your hand. He is certain about you. He's not confused. You are not a mistake. And you need to know this. You need to know this. It also means to be familiar with a person, place, or thing. To be familiar. He knows you. It also means to think that somebody is a particular type of person or thing or has particular characteristics. It also means to be able to rec recognize something. I said this earlier, but to recognize something or somebody. 
he recognizes you. It also means to be able to distinguish one person or thing from another. You are not like me. I am not like you. And God can distinguish that because he knows us. So when he gave us, when he made us, placed us on a mother's womb, he's already finished everything. And when we are born, everything that we ever needed was inside of us. Amen. You came as a finished product. 